Hey guys, it is Tyler here back once again with another Horizon Forbidden West video. At the end of last year, I finally got around to doing my live replay of Horizon Zero Dawn in anticipation for the long-awaited sequel. In this playthrough, it reaffirmed to me the importance that mystery and discovery play in the game's overall mystique and enjoyment, both in regards to the story as well as the gameplay. So in this video, I want to discuss the elements that Mystery played in Horizon Zero Dawn and how they can play a part in the sequel, Horizon Forbidden West. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Horizon Zero Dawn's story was one of self-discovery. Aloy is searching for her place in this world, which has treated her as an outcast her whole life. This journey to find her identity began as a simple search to find her mother, then becomes so much more as Aloy discovers the greater mysteries and cultures that lay at the foot of the small world she grew up in. Aloy's story isn't just intriguing because of her character and the questions that are raised to the audience, but Aloy plays the role of the player so well. We know so little about the world of Horizon and Aloy plays that conduit in both story and gameplay to learn alongside us every step of the way. When it comes to Forbidden West, however, is that we learn so much about Aloy in the world of Horizon throughout Zero Dawn, so many questions are now answered. It's one of those few nitpicks about the game that I have. What I love about early games in a series, or so many good ones, is that for every answer we receive, there are two more questions asked of us. However, in Zero Dawn, they answer so many questions than was asked at the end of this game. So to me, when it comes to keeping that mystery and atmosphere of Discovery and Aloy's journey heading into Forbidden West, I cannot overstate how important the first two hours of the game are going to be. What I mean to say is, there needs to be some serious driving force that move Aloy and the story forward. I personally don't want it to feel like the Frozen Wilds where we simply hear a rumor and then travel to this far off land to investigate. It needs to be beyond that. It needs to be a greater and more personal reason. When you look at the first two hours of Zero Dawn, there are so many questions asked of the world and so many personal motivations for Aloy that are both personable, relatable, and also are greater than oneself. This needs to be the case again. I'll look at the opening two hours of The Last of Us Part 2. Going into that game, I wasn't sure what the driving force for our main characters was going to be anymore. What reason there was for this story to take place at all? What was going to make me invested to sink hours upon hours into this game? Well, if you know, you know, I'm not going to spoil it. They gave me probably the most motivation any sequel has ever given me to play on in a game and tackle the challenges laid before me. I was so emotionally invested after those first two hours to go on the main character's journey and see where it led me. That's the gold standard of a sequel opening to me. How to bring players in and push you forward in a way that has the player all in on what the character wants. Now, Forbidden West doesn't need to do exactly what The Last of Part 2 did, especially some people didn't like it. But Forbidden West does need to give us a great driving force that pushes us and Aloy's story forward and gives us a bunch of questions and intrigue that we then want answered throughout the game, not simply... Oh, we've heard this rumor, or we've heard that rumor, let's go investigate. There needs to be a really important driving force right from the get-go. In Zero Dawn, Aloy learnt a lot about herself, and a greater purpose she could serve to the world as a protector of sorts. In Forbidden West, I want to see that purpose grow and become more prevalent. There is so much more to this world that we do not understand, and to have Aloy be a conduit is perfect. But she is also a unique individual unlike any other, so how much of an impact can she truly have? That's what I want to start to see unpacked in Forbidden West. Or, as another alternative, are there other humans that were indexed by previous human civilizations? Are there other places on Earth they did projects similar to Zero Dawn? That could be an interesting road that we go down in Forbidden West. But the fact that we're still remaining in North America makes that theory a bit less likely. In terms of a story focus, Forbidden West needs to be about discovery. It is one of the best themes to have in a video game because it crosses the line of story and becomes gameplay as well. It hits all layers that make up a game. Zero Dawn did such a great job of that all throughout, but we knew nothing about that world before. The challenge with Forbidden West stories is that it comes with the challenge of a pre-established story, characters, questions, as well as answers. We know a lot. There is still a lot we don't know as well though. 
there are questions we were left with at the end of Zero Dawn with Silence and Hades that will no doubt be explored in Forbidden West. Where will these questions lead us, and what secrets are still yet to be unraveled with the previous human civilization before those of Aloy's time? To not simply explore the stories that are immediate threats, but to understand where they came from in the past has such an intriguing factor about it that I loved about the first game so much. But again, there's also the concern of revealing too much. I would love to see Forbidden West answer some of the questions that we as an audience have asked at the end of Zero Dawn, but even more than that, I'd love for the game to ask us more questions than it answers. Guerrilla knows they have a franchise on their hands with Horizon now, so hopefully with this sequel, they're creating story beats that they're going to lead to an ongoing narrative with the world and with Aloy that goes beyond just Forbidden West. The theme of Discovery also can come into Forbidden West story in a much simpler and more frequent way. The world of Horizon is full of various human tribes, groups, and civilizations. We see many in Zero Dawn alone. What Forbidden West brings is a whole new landscape that I'm sure is full of various tribes and groups that have their own customs and ways of life. We saw glimpses of that in the reveal trailer alone. What that brings is a sense of learning more about the world through characters, meeting memorable characters through both the main story and side stories when you enter a village you've never seen before. Who would forget seeing Meridian for the first time? Moments where, through architecture, you get an idea of how those people live. That draws you in. Then you interact with the people in that place and learn more about them. Zero Dawn nailed so many elements of that and it needs to continue over in Forbidden West. Relating to all kinds of people, no matter where they're from, is one of Aloy's best traits as a character. So it goes beyond learning about the world and its people, it also is about exploring Aloy and developing her as a person of the world and not just one tribe. Horizon Forbidden West is a video game after all, and as I said, the theme of discovery needs to be a part of the gameplay as well. As you explore the world of Zero Dawn, you travel into new lands and terrains many times. The beauty of the world is breathtaking, but what's more is what fills up that space. There is nothing like traveling over the mountains of Colorado and seeing the deserts of Utah for the first time in Zero Dawn, and in that alone, seeing flying machines that looked more fearsome than anything you faced before. Both the thrill and the agony of what you will face next was something really special. To enter these ancient cauldrons, to see how the machines are constructed, to find ruins of a past civilization and try to figure out where in the world you are in context with our world. It creates an aura of mystery and discovery because this world isn't some mythical place. It is our world, only from a different point and time. All of this can and should be explored in Forbidden West, this I have no doubt in, from the simple fact that the game takes place in a whole new location. New peoples, machines, terrain, and ruins to explore and discover, both as part of the story as well as a player just traversing the world naturally. Keeping the mystery and discovery as a central theme of Horizon Forbidden West is essential to me. There's so many elements that it covers over in any game from story, character, and gameplay. The first few hours are essential to bring the player in and ask us questions that we want answered enough to push us forward into Aloy's next journey. To learn more about this world of Horizon, both in its current state but also in its past. To meet and explore new and unseen lands and peoples in Forbidden West. To ask more questions than are answered are all key elements that I think will not only keep the aura of mystery and discovery alive in Horizon as a franchise, but also make the game in itself a success to its audience.